In this AWS project, I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step tutorial, especially for beginners, how to host a free website on AWS S3 with custom domain and free SSL. As you can see right now on the screen, we are hosting our web application, Vue.js, it can be also React.js, on AWS S3 for free and everything is working perfectly. It can also be a free static website, as you can see right now, Whatever HTML file, JavaScript and CSS content that you have, you can host it on AWS S3 for free with free SSL. In order to gain the most benefit from this tutorial, we will recommend you to sit down, watch and learn. And once you finish to watch the video, try to do this tutorial by yourself. And we also recommend you to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we're gonna release more AWS projects in the coming future. Welcome back guys and thank you for keep watching. So let's start our tutorial about how to host a website on AWS S3 bucket for free with custom domain and also free SSL. So the first step is of course the requirement. What are the requirements you guys need in order to have your custom website on AWS 3 So you need AWS account if you don't have open AWS account. Next, you need a DNS zone editor. If you have, uh, if you want to put a custom domain, you need to have a DNS. I'm using SiteGround for my web hosting and also DNS zone editor. I really recommend this platform. I will leave a link below. And this is the one of the requirements in order to have a custom domain to your web application or static website. Next, you need to have a web application. It can be Vue.js. It can be React.js. So can be Angular, whatever you guys use. Uh, I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step how to upload your web application to AWS S3. And if you don't have any web application, you don't have a Vue.js application, you can go to our YouTube where we published recently a tutorial about how to interact with Amazon Bedrock or AWS Bedrock with Vue.js web application. So this is the same web application I'm using in this tutorial so you can also have this web application if you don't have your own uh, web application and just want to practice how to host a web application on aws and also you can use your own static website it can be static html page it does not have to be web application here i have a static html also that i will show you how to host it on aws s3 for free with custom domain and also all the instruction for the web application uh, in in our github uh, link i will share the github repository so you will know what to do so let's go to step number two how to create a public s3 bucket on aws so you're gonna reach out to s3 the uh, simple uh, storage solution of aws and here we're gonna create a bucket so let's create bucket i'm gonna use our us uh, east uh, region and this is the bucket name that i'm gonna use i'm gonna do the same as the domain that i will set uh, later the bucket name is view scale up SaaS .dev. here i'm gonna uncheck the block uh, public because we want our bucket to be public otherwise it's not gonna work because we're doing static hosting we don't need to have uh, we don't need to block our bucket and once our bucket have been created, we're gonna go now to the permission in order to set a public S3 bucket. Okay, so just follow the instruction and what I'm doing on the uh, screen on the tutorial. We're going to pro a permission, and here, as you can see, our bucket is still not public. So what we need to do, we need to add bucket policy that also will be added in the GitHub repository that I showed you earlier. So don't worry about where you can get this JSON. What you just need to do, you need to copy and edit and also add your bucket um, name. And once you're doing that and save it, your bucket is now public available. And by the way, guys, we just want to mention that we are launching very soon our AWS master course. This is a course that designed special for beginner who want to gain the confidence and hands-on experience on AWS services. This course designed with three different architecture, serverless architecture, Twitter architecture, and container architecture, especially for beginners. So check it out in the YouTube description below. 
Now welcome back to our tutorial with step number three, upload web app to S3 bucket. So now I'm going to show you how you can basically add your Vue.js or React.js local application to S3 bucket. Very simple. All you guys need to do is to run the command npm run build. And by doing this command, it will create a distribution folder with the, all the HTML, CSS and JavaScript file that we need and this is what we're going to upload to our public s3 bucket that we created a uh, one step earlier so let's go and upload this um this distribution let's upload this folder okay it will take a few seconds don't worry about it i'm gonna press upload and in a matter of second all the content of our web application have been uploaded let's wait few more seconds okay that's it upload succeed perfect and now what we're gonna do very simple step we're gonna move all the content inside our dist folder to the root of the bucket okay so all the content that have been inside the disk we're gonna move it one step to the root bucket so it will be available on the root level this is how you're doing it very simple and once we did the move we're gonna save it let's close it okay now let's refresh and go to the root of our bucket and here you can see all the distribution content that we have the html uh, sorry the index html with the asset folder and everything we need and next i'm also going to show you how you can upload also static html let's say you don't you don't have web application you don't have vue.js or react.js and you just have like few html file so here I'm going to upload also a file called sas.html can be as a landing page. Okay, so let's go now to step number four, enable static website hosting on S3 bucket. So now we actually can enable the static hosting. What you need to do, you need to go to properties and here we have static website hosting a component. We're going to press on edit. Here we're going to change it to enable. And once we're doing it, we have a few more options that open to us. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave all the default as it is. And we're just going to add our index uh, document file, the name of the index file. And if you have error page, you can also add error page. But we don't have it, so we don't need to add it. And that's it. We just added index.html. This will be our root uh, website. Okay, so this is the S3 public url that we just created let's go and launch it and as you can see it's worked successfully we have our web app vue.js application on our aws s3 bucket and everything is working here are all the components this is the better component that doing ajax request to a lambda function let's see that it's also working so it's not like static as it's mean static. It's also add the JavaScript component to make it more uh, reactive. So as you can see, S3 working with a uh, Ajax request also. And now we're going to go to our static uh, HTML file, the sas.html. And it's also working. So if you don't have web application, you can also upload regular HTML file as a landing page for your service and all that for free with a with a free ssl that i'm going to show you next how to do it and also with your custom domain okay so let's go to step number five let's create a free ssl certification in aws certification manager so let's open a new a duplicated a tab and here let's go and open certificate manager okay there we go and here i already have a record that i created earlier so let's create a new one i'm gonna request a new certificate and i'm gonna add the domain very important for you guys to add the domain exactly as it is so i have the main domain scaleupsas.dev and i'm using subdomain vu okay and i'm gonna do dns validation instead of email validation and basically that's it let's press on request and we requested our SSL certificate. So now what we need to do, we don't need to just wait. 
No, we need to go inside the new record of the certification and we need to create a CNAME record. Okay, this is what I told you it requested at the beginning a DNS zone editor. So, so here I'm gonna add uh, the DNS validation with the CNAME record. I'm gonna copy the name and I press it here, enter the name here, remove all the uh, domain that is belong to me, it's not relevant here. And let's do five minutes of TTS, so it's not gonna take too long. And next, let's copy the CNAME value. Let's go to the DNS zone editor with a site ground. Let's create. And it will take one, <coughs> one second or two. But in uh, real life, not in this video, uh, the DNS uh, certification will take a few uh, minutes. I just cut it. Okay, so here it will be faster. But expect it to take like between one to five minutes. Okay, so as you can see, our SSL certificate has been issued, and now let's go to step number six, create cloud phone distribution, CDN, in order to connect the uh, SSL certificate with our S3 bucket and also custom domain. So we're gonna go to cloud front, and here we're gonna create a new distribution. Okay, perfect. Here in the origin uh, domain, we're gonna choose the S3 bucket a static website hosting URL. Okay, let's copy that and let's go here, let's pass, press enter, so it will remove the HTTP. Okay, perfect, it's working. And now let's scroll down. Here we guys don't need to change anything. We can keep going and scroll down. Everything is set okay, don't change here anything. This is additional setting, but we don't need to change it. And next, what we need to do, we need to go to the view protocol policy and we want to redirect HTTP request to HTTPS. Okay, we want to make sure that everybody reach to the HTTPS version of our website. And let's scroll down. Okay, here we're not going to set, again, we're not going to do anything. If you guys want to add or set or update a default setting, uh, you are welcome to do it, but it's not have to be done. Here we have the option to set web application firewall. We don't need it for this example, but it's also a solution to make your website more secure. And now we need to add the domain name. We want to have a custom domain name. So this is where we define it, one of the places. Here we're adding the domain name. Our domain name is vu.scaleupsas.dev. Uh, okay. And here we're gonna choose the certificate that we just created, the SSL certificate. And this is how we bond those things together. And all the rest of the configuration are okay. We don't need to change, so let's create distribution. Okay, so this step will take also between one to five minutes until the distribution is created. In this video, I'm gonna cut it and make it faster. But once it's done, basically, the last modified will be not deployed. It will be a timestamp. And then we can go and visit the distribution domain name that we have there, the, uh, the random string that you can see on the distribution domain name. Okay, so the distribution has been created. Let's copy the a random uh, distribution domain name. Let's paste it. And as you can see right now, our website is served from the cloud front, from the CDN, and it's a HTTPS for free. We have a secure website, a web app in our case, or also a static uh, website, a HTML file, whatever you guys uh, need. Also hosted on AWS for free. Okay, so let's go to the last step of this amazing tutorial, how to attach a custom domain to our static website or web application website that hosts on AWS S3. And what we need to do, we need to go to our DNS zone editor. We need to add a new CNAME record with the subdomain as a name. And we need to redirect it or to add the record to the CDN distribution, to the CloudFront distribution. And this step also will take between one minute to five minutes or even longer. I cut it in the video so it will be faster. But in real life, it can take a few minutes. So let's go and now check the a custom domain with our a static a website or with our web application. Let's go to www.scaleupsas.dev with HTTPS, of course, and bam, 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 and thank you, ma'am. 
We have a free website hosting on AWS S3. It can be web application, it can be static uh, web page, and let's see that it's working, that the JavaScript and the Ajax request working okay with our custom domain and with our HTTPS. So I'm gonna generate an image. It's also an option to do with AWS Bedrock and it's working. I don't know why this is the image is generated, but I'm just show you that everything is work. And basically we are done here. We finished the tutorial. Let's check the static uh, website, the SAS HTML, and it's working perfectly with the new custom secure free SSL a domain. HTTPS. If you guys like the tutorial, you can buy us a coffee. We will really appreciate it. That's it, guys. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching and follow to the rest of the video. Please like, subscribe, and leave comment below. And keep following because I'm gonna release more and more amazing videos about AI, about AWS about DevOps, about a lot of interesting stuff. Thank you so much.